Now there are dozens of examples that could have been done concerning vectors and matrices for n-dimensional random variables. But here is a second and last uh, one that's going to be done on the slides here, and that is generalizing a univariate result. So here is the univariate result, and it goes as follows. If the univariate random variable x has population mean mu sub x and population variance sigma x squared, then y equals ax plus b has population mean mu sub y is a mu sub x plus b, and population variance sigma y squared is equal to a squared sigma x squared. Now you may be used to these particular results in terms of the expected value and variance operator. If so, they look like this. The expected value of ax plus b is equal to a times e of x plus b. And that's this first result right here. And then the second result is the variance of ax plus b. Remember, for the variance operator, a shift is not relative. So the a comes out squared. And you get a squared times the variance of x. This result can be generalized to n dimensions as follows. If the n by 1 vector of random variables x, again, x is a column vector, and the has an n by 1 vector of population means mu sub x, and a variance covariance matrix sigma x, then the m by 1 vector of random variables y equals ax plus b. This is the analog to what we have up there. y equals ax plus b has a population mean mu sub y is a mu sub x plus b and variance covariance matrix sigma sub y is a sigma sub x a transpose for an m by n matrix of real constants a and an m by 1 vector of real constants b. So this is just one example of taking a one-dimensional result and moving it up to n dimensions.